just landed in Wyoming. We're here at Trophy Ridge with Ralph Dampman. I got the Bowtech dialed. We've got a good week of hunting coming. Our first day's tomorrow. It's gonna to be a little warm, but after that, it's gonna cool off. And I think we're gonna get some really good early season whitetail action. American Whitetail is brought to you by Browning Firearms, by Browning Clothing, and by Ram Trucks. We're about to head out for the evening. It's two o'clock now and I'm pretty excited for the evening's hunt because it rained really hard earlier and we had a major temperature drop overnight. So those two things together can usually mean deer movement. And we're going in early because we're hunting a food source. And we've kind of got a hunch that the bucks are going to be getting food early. So I think it's going to be a good hunt. Yesterday afternoon, we hunted just over my right shoulder on the uh, meadow back there. And we saw all the deer going out from one point in front of us and crossing into this alfalfa field. So that today at midday, our guide Larry came in and put this blind up. And the idea is, if those deer do what they did last night, they should come out right here on my right side and they should be definitely within 30 yards. So the temperature's cooled down. I feel like we're on a really good food source and I think our chances are about as high as they can be, or at least as high as they've been all week. Looks 
like our third evening hunt is about to come to an end and it looked promising for a little bit. We had that little eight point feet right up to the blind. And then we had three other bucks come down off this hill and feed the alfalfa. But the rancher got out on his four wheeler and he must have had some work to do. As soon as he started running it, the bucks left the plot. So it's starting to look like this hunt is gonna have some challenges, but we've got two days left and I'm still feeling pretty optimistic. We're still in Wyoming. It's still the early season, and honestly, anything can happen. North American Whitetail is brought to you by Browning Trail Cameras, by Ozonix, and by Sig Electro Optics.
exactly where the head is. I'm wound up right now. But we're gonna just wait. We're gonna be patient. Our guy Larry's up on the hill. I think he's gonna tr truck watching us. So I hope I put a good head on him. See it? That's awesome. <laughs> it was crazy. That's great. He spooked. He actually came in behind us, and then we didn't spook. He got nervous. Uh -huh. Went down over there, and I looked at the camera, and I was like all upset. And then he circled down there, and was at like 80 yards. Worked back into 30, and we got him. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That'll work. And then he took off that way over the hill. So we haven't, like, this is the furthest we've been, so we haven't okay. even. All right, it's about 6.15 this morning. We're here at the cabin, and we're getting ready to head back out and look for that deer I shot last night. Last night, dark made it a little hard to track, and I'm glad we backed out. I think it was a good decision, but I also think that deer was dead last night. I'm very confident in my shot, and I think we're going to find him today. You just want to start up here. Right up here, just kind of look right there, and then we'll walk. What do you think? That's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, I. Uh, it just feels good to get get my hands on him. I mean, he's less than 175 yards from the blind. So, gosh, I mean, he's here laying in the shade. No lions or dogs got on him. It does look like he must have been quartering a little more than I thought because the exit holds a tad back, yep. which I think is why we didn't get a great blood trail, but he didn't go far. I don't think he suffered. and. Man, just really happy to get my hands on. But thanks for all the hard work this yeah, week. Absolutely. You definitely helped us earn it. It's a sure. team effort. Thank you. It's great.